entertainment is. Oh, filthy. That is brown water. And if you have a look on the bottom, there are literal sediments there. All right, guys, I got it set up. So let's give it a shot now. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge because this place is a bit of a mess, doing a bit of woodworking at the moment. We've got a lot of wood right there. So it's going to be an obstacle course. We're going to see if it's going to survive it. Now there is a tile that is actually loose right there. And there's a bit of a no tiles just there. Let's see if he survives it. It's a bit of a robot wars going on. Now, a couple of obstacles over there. Is it going to survive? That's pretty cool because it is managing to navigate this uh, half a centimeter ridge between the tiles. So that's good. And it's going for it right now. And it is actually mopping the floor. You can see the glistening streak all the way behind it. And it's off. It's on its way right there. Oh, it went up on the stool. So it even climbed that ridge there. And the vacuum went really high to wash it. Let's see. Oh, bumped into the bench top there, but not that too dangerous. So going to the kitchen, a couple of spaces on the floor. Will it knock them out of the way? It is managing to go above the ridges here. So that's pretty good. Look at that, sweeping up, tidying up the place. Sweeping, mopping, vacuuming. Doing a good, good service. Got a couple of weights over there. It's managed to avoid just doing the spinning motion. Although it does touch some of the obstacles. It did touch this here and it did touch that board slightly. Now, is it going to go below the draw? What do you think? Oh, just made it underneath. Just made it underneath. That's lucky. Never hit his head. I was worried about that. Will it come out? <laughs> It did, it did, it did move the chair ever so slightly. I saw that little knock, but obviously no damage. Coming up, this is the socks. Let's see if you all watch the socks or try sweeping it away. Look at that, expertly managed to avoid the socks. So if you do have any socks later, blazing around, you're having a good time. Now it's in the gallery section. Gotta say, I get very nervous around the grand piano. It is tapping on the feet, but it's not moving. It. Obviously, it's a big, big grand piano, but it's like ever so slight touching. I don't think it's causing any damage whatsoever, but it's always nerve wracking. So I've got an obstruction in this way this time. So I'll see how it handles it. So I put a little stand, a little obstruction in this way, blocked its path and it was managed to see it and it just came back out again, so that's pretty good. So he was out and about doing a bit of work. He was doing well around the piano. The area on the piano has been neglected for such a long time, so it's nice that it hasn't hit anything. Now it's returning home because it's detected that it needs to self-clean. The mopping pad has gotten dirty. So um, it's gonna get in there. Let me just give it a pause. So if you look right here, and that's the level of filth that was on this floor. Look at that great murky yuck yuck. It's actually dirty all over. So I'm gonna let it resume, clean itself and show you how clean it makes them. All right, it's just cleaned itself. As you can see the mopping pads, that's what they look like after they've been cleaned. Given a little rinse so you can continue intricate objects like stands. It does shove them around a bit. It was uh, testing its fragility. So if you have anything like a telescope or something like that, well, <laughs> be careful around that. But it needs uh, maybe thicker objects and it won't try to move them. It's a bit nudging them. It really, really, really doesn't like that camera stand. Really doesn't like it.
So this is a very intricate area over here. It's managing to go through the dining table and the chairs around it, placed place oddly around and it's fitting through, doing a good job. Let's see if there's any marks on the dining table. So he does ever so slightly tap objects, but there was no damage here. It's lucky. My wife would have killed me. All right, so it's now off to clean itself for the second time. Obviously, we've got a lot of meter squares to cover. I did like that it's doing some sort of lawnmower motion back and forward, back and forward. And when it did go to the chair area, we got some weird design chairs that go like this. So it was able to fit through one way, but the other way it wasn't able to fit through. So what it did was it, it tried going in, got in this way, and then it went all the way around again and got through the other way. So it tried covering the whole area. So I'm pretty pleased of how it is its coverage. And it seems to be avoiding most of the objects. The, the biggest problem we get is just like little nudges to the furniture, little tiny nudges. Doesn't affect most of the furniture here apart from the stand. So stand is the only thing I'm a bit aware of. We're coming to my favorite area, the wooden piles behind me. We'll see how it handles that. Hopefully you guys won't have planks of wood around your place, but if you do, you'll know how it works. It works with socks. Got itself into a little tangle. Just gonna play support in case it can't loosen itself out. There we go. All right, lesson learned. Don't have any ropes or items like that laying around. Make sure that's out of the way because it can get tangled. But it's going to wash itself one more time for finishing off this lovely section. And if uh, loose ties and ropes is the only thing to worry about, Maybe make sure cables are out of the way, like maybe iPhone charging cables, that sort of stuff. So it did give these thin strips of HMR MDF a shove. Not sure why, maybe you're very, very thin. All right, guys, it seems to really like the HMR MDF woods. It's chewing it up. It's going straight for the blinds. I think uh, there's too many hazards, hazards for this area, so I'm just gonna give it a little pause and move out of the way. Just chewing this bad boy up. This isn't even the, the main wood, this is just the melamine edging. So anyway, for areas like this, very, very hazardous. What you can do is if you jump on the app, you can set up this area as an exclusion zone, so it won't even go near here. And uh, I don't think you guys would be having this stuff in your house, but just ideas on things to avoid if you are planning to use this. I am alive. I am alive. Scanning, 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 sending.